everyone today we will talk about mutual funds and hedge funds mutual funds and hedge funds invest money on behalf of individuals and companies the funds from different investors are pooled and investments are chosen by the fund manager in an attempt to meet the specified objective for mutual fund, sometimes it's called unit trust. It serves the needs of relatively small investors. They offer diversification of opportunities. Every day 4 p.m. they get valued. But uh, remember there is some cost, such as the management expense, sales commissions, accounting and administrative cost, and the transaction cost. So for this one, one is like the open end fund. This is the total number of shares outstanding goes up as the investors buy more shares and down as the shares are redeemed. Another one is called closed end fund. This one have a fixed number of shares outstanding. For ETF is exchanged, exchange traded funds. It was invented in 1993 in U.S. It's often track an index and so uh, an alternative to an index mutual fund or investors who are comfortable earning a return that is designed to mirror the index. So those about the mutual fund. For hedge fund also is called alternative investments it was uh, started in 1949 in U.S. For this hedge fund, it seeks to attract funds from wealthy individuals and large investors such as pension funds. It combines long positions in stocks considered to be undervalued with short position stocks considered to be overvalued then use the leverage to magnify returns. As a hedge fund implies that risk are being hedged. And for the fee, usually they have 2 plus 20, such as charge 2% per year for asset under management and 20% for net profit. So overall, today we talked about the mutual funds and the hedge fund. Hope you like it. Thank you.